Hey folks, it's Walleye Wednesday and I am currently sitting at the Niagara Falls International Airport where I am waiting to climb on a plane that is going to take me on an adventure that I've never been on before. It's kind of like the Make-A-Wish Foundation and I'm going to be ticking so many off my bucket list in this next week. It's, it's going to make my head spin. And it's because of a certain somebody and I don't want to ruin the surprise because we have to get down there and I will show you exactly who it is that is making this wish come true. But before I do, I want to personally thank Linda Flood and Mike Borvik for being the ultimate host last week and showing us the Detroit River and helping us describe to you guys what selective harvest and when it comes to fish fries and nobody loves fish fries more than I do, what fish to keep when it comes to the ultimate fish fry. So this trip's gonna have nothing to do with walleye, but I'm gonna tell you something. I wanna bring you guys along because I'm as excited as you're gonna be to see what I'm about to see. So let's climb on the plane and let's get to it. I want to introduce, this is going to be epic, guys. This is Happy oh, Walleye Wednesday. Yes. Look at our guide, our host, and our good friend. You ready to do some catching? Let's do it. You bring suntan lotion? I, I bought enough skin to burn, Shirts, that's for sure. Flip I got, got swimsuits. Extra suits. underwear in case you get a big fish. I got a monkey's hat. I'll do whatever it takes. So, Italo, this is day one of this, I would say, Italo and Scott's epic adventure. More Scotty's oh, yeah. adventure than the Talos. Oh yeah. We are heading currently out towards Lemon Bay, you say? Lemon Bay, then Bull Bay and Charlotte Harbor. We're gonna look for redfish, snook, sea trout, might get the surprise, black tip shark on, might get a copia. You just don't know. One of those big black drums up to 70 pounds. Oh, yeah. It's kinda like wallet well, to shoot the it's a lot different considering I've caught none of what you just mentioned. So, Is it warm enough for you? Well, uh, for a big guy like me, I'm It's only 90 and it's 10 a.m. If you notice, I didn't take my winter jacket on, so I'm, I'm, I'm fully thoroughly protected. But guys, stay tuned. This is going to be something. It's one thing to see this sight from the comfort of your couch, but to see it firsthand, the greatest towel of Lobignan, it's hard to put into words. Oh, you got a nice fish. Nice red fish. Nice red fish. Nice fish. There you go, a towel. Towel's all hooked up. I'm fishing Beautiful with day. Scotty Martin, wow. walleye master. And we're getting a little bit different fish than walleye. I'm not even use the nest of this towel. Lift them up very gently. Wow. There's a gentle caress. Let me hold it up. Wow. You think you wanted that jig? Mm -hmm. Gonna get that jig out. It's gonna be released. Actually, I'm gonna hold it. It should fall off. Ready? There you go. Nice release. Typical Walleye Wednesday, we always release our fish, and in this case, a schnook. Beautiful fish, what a gorgeous fish. We didn't have him out of the water too long, so he should be fine. Let's make sure he's revived. Wow, that is a long fish. Gorgeous, they do look like a walleye. Yes, look. they do. Just a little bit brighter yeah. silver. There he goes. Beautiful. Nice, nice work, Atala. Thank you. Yes, baby. That's that.
the Gulf of Mexico, it's Walleye Wednesday. Happy Walleye Wednesday. Yeah, baby. Here we are, day two, out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And what are we targeting today in Tyler? 